This is the Comics Review Worksheet number three. There were some questions about uh, three, five, and seven. Number three and number seven are the same exact process. They're just different numbers. So I'm going to do number three because it has the fraction. Okay, and this is x equals one-fourth y squared minus 2y plus 3. Oops, let's try that again. Plus 3. Okay, so x is the non-squared variable, so this is going to open in the x direction, and a is positive. So this is an x direction, a is greater than 0, so therefore this parabola is going to open to the right. So the uh, directions ask you to complete the square. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the 3 to the other side. So I get x minus 3. And then a is 1 fourth. I need to factor out the 1 fourth. And that leaves me with y squared minus 8y. 8y 1 fourth times negative 8 is negative 2. So now I need to complete the square. So I'm going to take negative 8 over 2 squared, and that is positive 16. I didn't add 16 to the right. I added 1 fourth times 16, which is actually 4. So I need to add 4 to the left. Okay. So now I have x plus 1 equals 1 fourth. The whole reason you did this um, b over 2 squared thing is so that you can factor the y squared minus 8y plus 16 as a perfect square trinomial. So that's going to factor as y minus 4 quantity squared. Now I want to isolate the x, so I get x equals 1 fourth y minus 4 quantity squared minus 1. Normally you would say the vertex is at 4, negative 1, but it's not. It's backwards. So the vertex of this parabola is at negative 1, 4. Okay, so first let me go back for a second. This right here is the equation of the parabola. Actually, this is vertex form. They wanted you to put it in standard form. Well, guess what? It already is standard form. So this right here is vertex form. And this right here is standard form. Sorry, I'm still getting used to standard. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to writing on this thing. That's a standard. It looks like San Francisco and whatever. Okay, well, vertex form is nice because you can very easily find the vertex. Standard form is nice because you can easily find the y-intercept. So let's review. If a problem is given to you in standard form, how do you find the vertex? That would be the opposite of b over 2a, comma, the f of the opposite of b over 2a. When you do all that work, you're going to end up with negative 1, 4. Okay, so what else does it ask us to find? Put it into standard form. It was given to us. The vertex, which we already did. Uh, the focus, the directrix, and the asymptotes. Okay, so A is 1 fourth. This is going to determine, it's going to help us determine the focus and the directrix. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just sketch a graph of this. This is going to make things for me at least easier. So, I'm going to draw my line. Woo! I love this app. I can draw straight lines. Too bad I can't do that on the whiteboard. Okay, so the vertex is at negative 1, 4. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we know it opens to the right 
and a is one fourth, so this uh, parabola is wider, or it is it's wider um, compared to the x, but it is uh, compressed to the y. Okay, so now let's just plot some points. I know the y-intercept from the given equation. I know the y-intercept is 0, 3. So let's plot 0, 3, and then let's reflect that over. So 0, 3, 1, 2, it's like here. This looks like, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we can find the focus in the direct directrix from here. The focus is um, always inside the parabola. So I like to look at it as if you were to smush the parabola, like would you, if you brought the two branches, so to speak, together, the focus has to lie in this area right here. Okay, so where exactly is that? So let's use my handy dandy tool and erase everything I just drew. Okay, so I know that a is one fourth. Okay, so from here, you know that A is equal to one over four C. So A is one fourth. So C is one. So that means the distance from my vertex. This is my focal distance. Okay, so the distance from the vertex to the focus, I'm going to move one unit to the right. Okay, so again, this is difficult for me. I, I apologize. I'm still getting used to the app. But from the vertex, I'm going to move to the right one space. So that's going to end up being like right here. And this point, if my focus was at, I believe the, sorry, not the focus, I believe the vertex was at negative one four. Sorry. So my vertex was at negative one four. So if I go from the vertex one unit to the right, that gives me my focus as zero four, which actually happens to be the y-intercept. My directrix, I'm going to move in the opposite direction. So if the vertex is at negative one four. This means that the directrix, which is a line, is at x equals negative 2. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I keep messing this up. Okay. Ugh. You know what? We're going to erase that. You must be so frustrated with me. Okay, obviously it's crooked. It's not supposed to be crooked. So here is my focus, my directrix. So going back to the beginning, the problem asked you to write the equation in standard form. It was given to you in standard form. So I completed the square. I wrote it in vertex form, which is how, me, how I got to vertexes. Uh, vertex form is 1 fourth y minus 4 quantity squared minus 1. And then the focus and the directrix. Number 7 is pretty much uh, the same problem. So hopefully that clears up some of your questions.